Um, yeah. Are there any more beans? He's very well established, you know, look at his muscles, he's very strong. Get to do this kind of thing at the regular before they get enough energy to move throughout the day. Yeah, you can pack them. They don't seem to mind very much. Guanas can live for more than 20 years, and in that time, they're always constantly growing and growing and growing. So there's never any really full length that they can reach. Working here for seven years, looking after all the reptiles and crocodiles, snakes and venomous snakes, and all the tortoises, turtles, monitor lizard, giant tories, all the stuff I'm looking after, after here. Animal keeper, calm performer, and the park executive. And, okay, uh, first of all, I'm going to explain to you about the green iguanas. All right. Okay, these green iguanas are from Central America to Southeast Asia. Okay, these guys, the green one are the young ones. The orange one will be the male dominant. The darker one will be the females. Okay, these guys can grow about 2 meter long and they can lay about 15 to 20 eggs. And normally mating season, the orange color male will be puffing out his, the circle round thing and he will just bring it out and he will start to do kinds of shaking his head and design and stuff so to attract the female. So if you go to the zoo and bird park, you can't uh, go into the enclosure and be with the animals. But over here in Reptile Park, we're giving this kind of situation because why? We want the children to get get the phobia out of them. Okay, people, the parents teach them, oh, you see that you got to move away, you see that you got to move away. Actually, it's not. Okay, these reptiles, these iguanas are very harmless. Okay, they really love kids a lot. Okay, if, they, if you keep them from young, it's like a dog, more like a dog. Okay, you can ask them to come, they'll come. You ask them to sit there, they'll sit, they'll do whatever like others, okay? These iguanas are very special and very, very adorable to keep as a pet. Do you think I can pick one up? Second? Do you think I can pick one up? Pick one guy up here. Yeah. Let me give me a try, yeah? Oh. No problem, huh? Eh? Is he the dominant male? <laughs> the male dominant. Uh, How was that? Who's the yeah, big very boss nice. Of this entire park, who's the big boss? Is he the big uh, boss? We can't see that he's really a big one. Okay. There's some of them hiding somewhere. But this guy is a big one too. <laughs> Alright. Paws all are uh, far away from me. <laughs> <laughs> because I know the pain is how. Speaking for experience, huh? All the reptiles. So I know they are pains. Yeah. So Long pains. Uh, maybe you can. Uh, uh, how how do you feel right now about you know, how the park condition is and your okay, personal if feeling? You I mean, know. work in zoo and reptile park. I'd rather work in the reptile park because why? Because why? Okay. Over here we can. Okay. Over here we can. Be contact with them. In the zoo, there's no contact with animals. By case to case, you got to jump over. But over here we are encounter, encountering animals with them, you see. But that's the main thing. So that's why like we are more happy to work with them. We got a chance to be with them every day. But zoo is not like that. You gotta throw the food from outside. Or the iguana will be in that corner, you will be pouring the food over here. Once you put the food over, you go out, then the iguana will start to come over here. Some things I mean the snakes been stolen, I can say that. This is not from outside. Last time we had an enclosure with full of pythons and all kind of stuff. Okay, all uh, different different species. Okay, but what happened the one fine day? Suddenly, few uh, snakes. The one day, each snakes are getting to lose, missing, and we don't know how that got to miss. Maybe it thought there's some holes in the fence or what. And then uh, we went and checked. It's all fine. 
Then we then we came to find out that people are stealing it. Then we keep track how to catch his brothers. So we are just following them and keeping stuff. So finally what happened, the, they did what? They did a stupid thing like, uh, they are so scared already. They did what? They go and live under a white tag or what? So people see and scream and stuff. So they call us and we go and see it's our snake. So then we just go and take our snakes and we come back again. And all the snakes are safe back. And one of the guys is this. And what's his name? This guy's name is Rocky. Rocky? Yeah. How old is Rocky? This guy is about 7 years old. He can grow about 9 meter big. I'm here for 7 years and like, if you ask me to work with uh, human beings and animals, I'd rather work with animals. Because why? Animals doesn't step by other back. <laughs> human beings step by other back. Animal doesn't like you, they'll just step you on the spot. See? Yeah. That's the best thing to work with this guy. So is it is it very hard for you to perform the show? I mean, even though there's I not mean, many I people. I take risk to do my shows because why crocodiles cannot be trained or tamed at all. A crocodile can't be trained and tamed at all because their brain size is only a peanut size. So you don't know which is good and bad. Okay? If you keep a baby crocodile since young and you come up to this size, don't say you just go and drop near to the head, you just keep quiet. They'll try to eat you up. And crocodile is very good in what? Once they get you, they just grab you, drag you into the water. That is what they are good, in, good at. They got about 66 razor sharp teeth, and they can lay about 40 to 60 eggs, and they can live about 60 to 80 years. Right. So this is a kid fishing. It's for more for the kids to go and play and have fun in this. It is called a long tongue fishing. They'll put lots of fish and lots of kids, give them tail and a net to go and inside fish, all the fishes, all kind of goldfish, cuppies, cocktail, all kind of small, small fishes. So kids love to come and play with the fishes over here. And you get to keep the fishes once yeah, you caught? After they fish with the pail, we'll come and pack for them and give them the fish back home. Oh, that's very nice. Yeah. Because there the children love to come here. Uh, so, how come it didn't uh, kick off? I mean, the, how come it didn't kick off? Kick off means kick, like, uh, I mean, why did it... Uh, how come it's not so popular Yeah, anymore? not so popular anymore. Because why? This is a private firm, this is not a government firm, you see. If private firm means, if a government firm means, you can see, government, uh, president involved, everybody involved. But in this place, nobody involved. One man is involving and he is the one is putting the money. So you can't put always money for that. So, because we are seeing him, because it's not a little sum, you see. It's a lot of sum. Just to do the snake cavern and MVP, they're asking for 22,000. Just imagine that. No, in comparison, you have to work under this kind of conditions. I mean, I don't mind working in this kind of condition because I came here to work and just like be happy with the animals, okay? I don't. Well, I never, I never ask for it. I must work in aircon environment, clean environment or what. Okay, you ask me to work anywhere I'll work. I don't see dirty or what. So for me it's fine, for me nothing. As long as the animals are getting the food, they are eating food regularly, and they're happy, I'm happy too. It's really very sad thing that the place has been closed down. Because it was really, really, really lively when, when there were people, the park was open.